Did you know there's a moon larger than any dwarf planet in our solar system? Welcome to a voyage into the cosmos, where we'll uncover the mysteries of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and a celestial body of immense intrigue. It's not just the size of Titan that astounds us, but its distinct position as the second largest moon in our solar system, surpassing even the dwarf planets. So, buckle up, fellow explorers. Stay tuned as we take a journey through time, exploring the fascinating history and unique characteristics of Titan. Our journey begins in the year 1655 with Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens. This brilliant mind, armed with curiosity and a telescope, made a discovery that would forever change our understanding of the cosmos. He turned his gaze towards Saturn and noticed something peculiar, a celestial body that would later be known as Titan. Titan, named after the Titans of Greek mythology, was the first moon of Saturn to be discovered and the sixth known planetary satellite following Earth's moon and the four Galilean moons of Jupiter. It orbits Saturn at a distance of 20 Saturn radii, a fact that would later allow us to calculate its size and mass. Bigger than any dwarf planet in our solar system, Titan is a planet-like moon, 50% larger in diameter than Earth's moon and 80% more massive. This colossal moon endowed with a dense atmosphere is a unique entity in our solar system. Thus began our understanding of this intriguing celestial body. Beyond its impressive size, Titan is also remarkable for its composition. A celestial body of such scale is bound to be fascinating and Titan doesn't disappoint. Imagine a world where the ground beneath your feet is not made of the familiar rocks and soil, but instead a mix of ice and rocky material. That's Titan for you. This intriguing moon is primarily composed of a unique blend of ice and rock. The ice isn't just the garden variety type we're familiar with on Earth. It's a special form known as ice IHH, characterized by its crystalline structure. This ice forms a crust that coats Titan's surface, creating an extraordinary landscape that's unlike anything we have on our home planet. Beneath this icy crust, Titan is believed to harbor a differentiated core. This core is likely composed of rock, which is encased within various layers of ice. Picture a rocky heart nestled within an icy shell, a structure that's as fascinating as it is complex. One of the most intriguing aspects of Titan's composition is a subsurface layer that's rich in ammonia and liquid water. Yes, you heard it right, liquid water, an element vital for life as we know it, hidden beneath the moon's icy surface. But before you get too excited, Remember that the conditions on Titan are far too harsh for life as we know it to exist. So why does this matter? Well, this unique composition of Titan provides a foundation for some of its most intriguing features. For instance, the presence of a liquid water layer beneath the icy surface could potentially explain the moon's observed geologic activity. In a nutshell, Titan's composition is a fascinating blend of icy crust, rocky core, and a subsurface layer of liquid water. This unusual mix of elements and compounds creates an environment that's both alien and strangely familiar, a world that continually captivates scientists and sparks our curiosity. This unique composition sets the stage for some of Titan's most intriguing features. Titan's atmosphere is a world unto itself, Imagine a world where the skies are filled with nitrogen, so rich and dense that it forms a thick, opaque haze. This is Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in the solar system. A celestial body larger than any of the dwarf planets of the solar system, it is the only known moon to have such a dense atmosphere, a feature that sets it apart in our cosmic neighborhood. On this intriguing moon, the nitrogen-rich atmosphere gives rise to the formation of methane and ethane clouds. These clouds are not your average clouds, but heavy organonitrogen haze, a phenomenon unique to Titan. This haze veils the moon's surface, creating an air of mystery and intrigue. But what lies beneath this dense cover? Well, the answer is a landscape that bears a striking resemblance to our own planet. The climate on Titan, influenced by wind and rain, has crafted surface features that echo those found on Earth. Picture vast dunes carved by the moon's winds, rivers flowing with liquid methane and ethane, and lakes and seas dotting the landscape. But that's not all. Titan also boasts deltas, similar to the ones we see at the mouth of rivers on Earth. 
These surface features are not static, but are constantly being shaped and reshaped by Titan's weather patterns. Much like on Earth, seasons dominate the climate on Titan. And just as water shapes our world, on Titan it is methane that plays a similar role. The methane cycle on Titan is a fascinating parallel to Earth's water cycle, albeit at a much lower temperature of about 94 Kelvin. This combination of a robust nitrogen atmosphere, liquids both on the surface and subsurface, and a dynamic methane cycle makes Titan a world of remarkable complexity. It's a moon that not only holds our attention but also evokes a sense of familiarity, a reminder of our home planet in the vast expanse of the cosmos. With such a rich atmosphere and diverse surface features, Titan is truly a world of its own. Our understanding of Titan took a quantum leap forward with the Cassini-Huygens mission in 2004. This groundbreaking venture was a collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. It launched a probe to study Saturn's system with a special focus on Titan. The mission was named after astronomers Giovanni Cassini and Christian Huygens, who made significant early discoveries about Saturn and Titan, respectively. Cassini-Huygens was a two-part mission. The Cassini Orbiter, which studied Saturn, and the Huygens Probe, which landed on Titan. The Huygens Probe was the first to land on a world in the outer solar system, and it revealed Titan's surface in extraordinary detail. The mission discovered Titan's surface to be relatively young and smooth, with few impact craters, suggesting a geologically active world. One of the most astonishing discoveries was the presence of liquid hydrocarbon lakes in the Moon's polar regions. These lakes of methane and ethane were the first stable bodies of surface liquid found off Earth. This finding was a game-changer as it pointed to the possibility of a methane cycle on Titan similar to Earth's water cycle. Another significant finding was Titan's atmospheric super-rotation. This phenomenon, where the atmosphere rotates faster than the surface, had been observed on Venus and Earth, but it was a surprise to find it on a moon. On Titan, the super-rotation is driven by solar heating and the moon's rapid rotation. These findings reshaped our understanding of Titan, painting it as a dynamic Earth-like world with weather, geological activity, and potentially a complex chemistry that could support life. But the Cassini-Huygens mission also left us with many tantalizing questions. For example, what causes Titan's methane cycle, and could it possibly support some form of life? These discoveries have only deepened the mystery and intrigue surrounding Titan. As we continue to explore our universe, Titan remains a fascinating destination, a world that may hold keys to understanding our own planet and the potential for life elsewhere. Among all the celestial bodies, Titan stands out as the most Earth-like. This might sound like a grand claim given the stark differences between our warm blue planet and this icy moon of Saturn, but let's delve a little deeper into this intriguing comparison. Firstly, consider Titan's climate. It's easy to assume that a celestial body as distant as Titan would have a stagnant, unchanging atmosphere. But that's far from the truth. Like Earth, Titan experiences seasonal weather patterns. Granted, these aren't your typical spring showers or autumn leaves. Instead, Titan seasons are marked by methane and ethane rains that carve the landscape, creating rivers, lakes and seas, possibly even deltas. The resemblance to Earth's water cycle is uncanny, albeit at much lower temperatures, around minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's talk about the atmosphere itself. It's primarily composed of nitrogen, just like here on Earth. And within this nitrogen-rich atmosphere, methane and ethane clouds form, casting a heavy organonitrogen haze across the Moon's sky. As alien as it may sound, it's not too dissimilar from the water vapor clouds we're accustomed to here on our home planet. Underneath this dynamic atmosphere lies a landscape that's eerily reminiscent of Earth. Smooth, young in geological terms, with few impact craters but interspersed with mountains and potential cryovolcanoes. It's as if we're looking at an alternate, frosty version of our own world. And then there's the presence of surface and subsurface liquids, a rarity among celestial bodies. These liquids, coupled with the robust nitrogen atmosphere, 
make Titan's methane cycle strikingly similar to Earth's water cycle. Again, it's all happening at far lower temperatures, but the fundamental processes are remarkably alike. These fascinating similarities do more than just pique our curiosity. They challenge our understanding of what conditions are necessary for life as we know it. Could these Earth-like characteristics hint at the possibility of life on Titan? That's a question for future explorations. Titan, with its liquids and robust nitrogen atmosphere, is a testament to the wonders of our solar system. From its discovery to the latest findings, Titan continues to captivate us. Larger than any dwarf planet, with a dense atmosphere and even stable bodies of surface liquid, Titan is a marvel of the solar system. Its unique characteristics, such as its nitrogen-rich atmosphere, ice and rocky composition, and intriguing surface features, have sparked countless research. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Titan remains a beacon of intrigue and potential. A moon that is more than just a moon, it is a world unto itself, unto 